Chan Tai. <laughs> Chan Tai. <laughs> To be fair, that must be like one of the most mispronounced names or tags ever. <laughs> I feel like people will get that wrong a lot, right? It actually is. Like, Hideki loves Larry Lur. <laughs> we should post Larry Lur. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, I just don't even know how a Larry Lur posting started, let alone <laughs> Jets and Radio Man doing it. Uh, but here we go, getting into actual game one now of, of the set. As I was saying, these two have definitely played a lot, so are very knowledgeable of each other's characters and playstyles. Um, we've seen the classic um, Isabel from Weebly. I don't know why he would kind of pick um, Isabel over John Indrin's matchup, obviously Game Watch having the reflector, but uh, probably probably quite hard to use, honestly. Um, Game Watch is the reflector in this matchup. Like, Isabel has a lot of projectiles and a lot of um, variability in how she can use them. Um, but so far, keeping it pretty even. Um, clearly, these are working out for Weebly at the moment, but unfortunately, both of those balloons actually getting sniped there, meaning kind of purposely placing his up B to hit both of the balloons. Uh, one just making the recovery fail then. Uh, but Weebly, you know, still playing well, still staying in this. He gets the up throw grab with the fishing rod, but it's not going to be enough just yet. Yeah, that's another thing we'll kind of see in this matchup is um, a lot of characters against Isabel. It kind of comes down to how, can you, how well can you destroy the grenade. Um, like most hitboxes will kind of be on the grenade, but has to be a certain amount of damage. You man managed to miss space like Minion did there, you might just be losing a stock for it, so. Yeah, going back to pretty much even game now, Minion not able to get a lot of damage um, on the second stock just yet. Uh, so yeah, looking pretty even right now. Yeah, and that's also kind of the other possibility is, um, you know, uh, there's all been kind of a stranger character. Um, kind of uh, more campy, some more delayed, and also just a lot of tricks in the upper sleeve, which could tilt opponents or kind of catch them off guard, but you would hope by now that Minion these who haven't played enough wouldn't be getting to call out by too much stuff and so far he's doing a pretty good job of avoiding most of what he needs to getting a pretty sizable lead this is kind of what we saw in the first one as well um so even if minion is able to take this account the question is how well can he manage to maintain this lead once the stock is gone so we be still with the fighting back um thank you squishy <laughs> everybody loves game watch gameplay <laughs> So yeah, yeah, still pretty pretty even here, and I think that's what we're going to see for a lot of the set, is kind of a lot of back and forth and kind of keeping even. So kind of just um, getting individual hits. Um, yeah, just kind of individual hits. Um, like, neither of these guys can see. Like, anyone does have a lot of um, options with the low percent of combos, but these kind of percent. It's kind of hard to find those kill moves. It kind of needs to be a raw smash attack. Um, to see. But again, Fazel. <laughs> and amazing gameplay coming out. Just, I mean, what do you even do against Game Watch of the Downer? It's an interesting possible to play. Everyone knows that. Okay, yeah, but uh, Minion's just going to drop the stock there to the raw uh, gyro rocket. Not really. He's kind of running into it, I guess. It, that's kind of one of the things. Like, it's, not like this. it's kind of hard to see, but he's getting the raw bomb. Now, even stocks. Uh, last for each, 0%, even game. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot easier for Game Watch to build up damage in these early percents than it will for Isabel. It's not about when you're having too many combos and you're kind of relying on traps, but I mean, you're doing a pretty good job of getting around them, but still can get quite well by his Weebly's uh, individual hits as he's trying to get past the traps. Well, you can see here, just, uh, his Weebly's just kind of really playing really patiently. He's just um, making sure he's keeping the game out. At all times, he's making sure he can't really find an opening for him because once he does find the opening, we're going to see exactly what we're seeing now. Oh, it's a quick 60% done here from Minion. And suddenly putting the game very much in his favor, and the down smash, the forward smash, he's going to take it. The most epicest combo. Mr. Wins. Yeah, um, definitely pretty close on game one, but uh, just about going to Minion, just at the end there. Let's not make Pit broken. That would be lame. Pit's lame as hell. <laughs> yeah, we finally did it, Reddit. <laughs> Wait, what? Is the rule set wrong? Now, to what the fuck? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, that's okay with stuff. <laughs> oh well. 
Mr. Came and Watch. <laughs> no idea. I mean, stupid. What did I say? What F word? <laughs> I don't know what F word he said. I don't think I said fuck. And even if I did, I don't care. Well, we are going to be seeing the switch to Greninja here. Uh, coming up from Weeble. So, yeah, I guess um, uh, we kind of saw the minions doing a pretty good job of kind of dealing with the traps once he actually got in. Um, against Israel, so maybe kind of the Greninja switch, uh, taking it up to a faster pace. Uh, I think minions. Uh, Pavement is very. Pavement doesn't like swear words. Aw, poor baby. What a little, what a poor little guy, you don't like swear words. <laughs> but yeah, so far this counter is kind of looking uh, kind of similar to what we saw before. Just keeping it very even um, on both sides. Minion using it on his apples there. Um, so the Doctor is in fact in coming out for him at some point, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, yeah, so kind of, we're seeing a pretty good start here from Minion. Now, uh, Weebly is still trying to keep it even. In this case, like, against Game Watch teams with it can be hard for Greninja to kind of keep the disadvantage for long periods of time. Uh, especially like without a disjoint, kind of, you know, Game Watch is disjoint, so you're trying to develop a uh, disadvantage. Um, and also, like, uh, yeah, because of, like, Game Watch's size, it uh, can also be hard for Greninja to probably space things on the shield without getting up beat. Literally didn't say Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite cream. Yeah, Weedly. Oh, here, okay, here we go. Here's some, uh, here's some classic for Ninja. Um, to see. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I Minion's mean, still kind of just doing a good little thing out of it. He hasn't really managed to get a lot started there. And uh, he's just been damaged. He's just damaged enough to take the down smash there. So, yeah, he's struck for Weedly. Um, yeah, we don't want to try and see any directors being like, Advantage take from Weebly. So far, I haven't really had much of a chance to get him going. <laughs> I don't think, I think Smash is enough for us. Smash, Smash is all we need for now. And I still put Minion support on Smash. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What if he was an anchor fire or a snake? That'd be crazy. Absolutely insane. <laughs> anyway, back to that match. Yeah, we'd be still kind of. Still trying to take the stock, and Minion is carefully racking up the damage here, almost 6% already. I thought I'm not quite going to take it. Disgusting. <laughs> That's alright though. The target Minecraft is a good patch, to be fair. I actually, I like, consider doing something like that during lockdown, but it's too lazy. What? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. You have to use like the skin of your main Oh man, that was awful. <laughs> I meant my, no, he, he wants to grab it. Too deep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is pretty fun. I, I, I prefer Minecraft first, but it is pretty fun still. But anyway, back to the match. Yeah, um, yeah, we've been fighting managing to take that stock, but he's going to lose his own um, minion, kind of sitting a whole stock ahead now. Yeah, uh, Weebly still just hasn't been able to, like, get anything started here, really. Um, like, we haven't really seen any kind of long swing combos. Um, that could just be because of Game Watch's lightness and the uh, general upbeatness, making him just hard to deal with. Um, yeah, Minion, uh, Weebly's definitely going to have to try and take this off as quickly as possible, without taking much damage, if he's, uh, he's going to take this off. Nice up smash. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Uh, almost a 9%. This is definitely far into death descent for game watch. Uh, if we can manage to find another strong hit by the ledge. Yeah, we're gonna see the back here, but it's not quite gonna leave him anything. Kind of, we'd be kind of letting him go of the ledge, just, just kind of running away. And now we're off stage. He's, he's now Weebly's off stage and taking the quite a lot of percent for his troubles. Almost 55 on here right now. And then he's just kind of playing evasive, using his upbeats to get out of that situation. Yeah, we just kind of swinging, but none of them hit him. He's just trying to take the stock so desperately. Yeah, Minion now has him back at the ledge. And honestly, at this point, he's really looking to take that stock with 90%. Yeah, into the game. It is best of five. 
weebly sighing in sadness that he has to do this again, but he does have to do it again. <laughs> weebly saying that he is gonna go back to Isabel. Not really feeling like the Greenwich worked out. That's fine. I'm pretty sure the people can figure it out for themselves and the characters on the screen. <laughs> Yeah, uh, kind of the thing we saw from Weebly was like, he really just couldn't get anything started with Ninja. And it felt like that Isabel was keeping a lot more even, so I think the, the switch back to Isabel is definitely a respectable pick. Splatoon <laughs> <laughs> does kind of go hard though, not gonna lie. Do it for do it for the stream. Huh? Sorry? Okay. Oh, okay, right. Um, I don't think it's too late for stream, really. It would make sense, because, yeah, we don't have anything that would go on stream. Yeah, but we have no people, so it's funny how to get down anyway, so it's fine. And I, I get to get humiliated on stream, so it's fine. You open it up! Sticky Bush Symphony is actually a high pick. That's a fantastic song. But they chose Wii Shop Channel instead. They chose Wii Shop. No, actually, Wii Shop Channel kind of slaps, though. Like, actually. Sick ass, sick ass song. Yeah, back to the Isabel. Um, we kind of saw in game one, um, we was able to keep a lot more even than game two with the Isabel and the Greninja. Um, partially just because he, he was able to play his own game more. He was able to just kind of run away, set up his traps, and, you know, kind of eventually minion will just fall into them as is the nature of playing against this character. Um, yeah, you, know, you, have, you have to have a lot of a lot of awareness when playing against Isabel. It's, it's, it's hard to have awareness of everything, uh, even when you're playing a character by game watch. Yeah, the problem is the inevitability of Game Watch is once he does get in and does get those nares, then he's going to be dealing a lot of damage, but not really there. Um, and we're seeing Weebly take a pretty early lead, which again is, is kind of what we saw in the first game. So, you know, if Weebly can manage to keep this, this up, then uh, it's going to be looking pretty good then. And again, another Lloyd Rocket's going to send him up. And uh, yeah, Minion's still not really able to get much damage on here, but I'm sure that a, a nair could fix that. He's really trying to get the bait he's back as. And doing uh, down smash into up tilt. Pretty sure that was meant to be an up smash, but we'll take it. And <laughs> Weebly does right now have a piece of taking off him, so I'm sure it's going to lead into some crazy kill confirm. Oh, well, no, he just throw it away. Fair enough. Yeah, um, yeah, so Weebly's sitting with a little bit more percent on him now after those last couple of interactions. It, like, potentially a down smash into a forward smash could do it, but Weebly's an amazing mash actually getting out of that one just in time. A charge forward smash would have definitely done it there. Now sitting at, you know, kind of, given the given the weights of these characters, they're both very light, they're both going to be dying early, so they're both kind of well into their death defense chips now. Uh, the Tekken 7 version of Moonsiders, yes, that is in the game, yeah. Fantastic song. And, uh, yeah, uh, speaking of fantastic, Weebly managing to take a fantastic stock there off of Minion. Um, he's getting his first, I think, I think is one of his first leads of the actual set, or at least a full stock lead. So let's see what he can do with it. Isabel not the best character when it comes to just racking up damage directly through combos, but... Uh, you know, he's still gonna be trying to get a lot of damage here. And yeah, fading way far back. Naturally not being caught out by that back air from Game Watch. Kind of, kind of back to neutral. Weebly's always gonna be kind of just doing his best to, um, to running away and set, setting up his traps. Just so we can get more damage and more kill potential later on. And could this be an edge drop for Minion? No, he actually, well, he doesn't flub it. He gets him with the last tip part of the up B. Uh, I think he re-grabbed the ledge there by accident. Uh, but he gets Barry anyway. And the forward smash will take it. Setting it back to even Salt. A slight lead here from Weebly, about 30%. Okay, down throw. That's going to be a little more than damage now. Weebly, um, you know, trying to make something big out of this lead. See if he can get his first game of the set on the board. Yeah, Weebly still, uh, still just trying to find these last hits, uh, trying to close this game out, and uh, yeah, Minion kind of still struggling just to get in here for now. <laughs> Content to just run away and teabag and put down his mines. 
Wow, that actually scooped him all the way from down there. Kind of potentially even getting a two frame there. And I guess with a recovery like Game Watches, you know, that's kind of hard to deal with. He's, he's always wanting to go to the ledge, so he kind of has to occupy the path of that uh, fishing rod and get grabbed. That's true, the, the, the potential of the nine is always there for Game Watch. It's never, it's never truly an even game. And there's always the chance. Sounds looking about even now, but Weebly's still managing to deal with a ton of damage here. It's looking like this next stop could be falling pretty quickly. If Minion is able to do something about it quickly. Okay, yeah, and at the ledge, Minion trying to make as much out of this edge guard as he can, but not only managing to hit it. But still, Weebly's still stuck at the ledge, just trying to get out of there. These nairs, these multi are covering so much area for Minion. Yeah, he again, he, he, can, he goes super low. Yeah, good tech. He's gonna he's gonna stay back alive, and he, he didn't take as much damage as I thought he would get. But yeah, enough for Minion to be able to take the stock there. Yeah, it's just a question of can Weebly manage to take this stock right now? <laughs> yeah, if he, if he if he can take this stock right now, then we're just gonna be seeing a game for him. And he <laughs> tried it, he missed it, but it's always the risk. And there we go. That's the game. <laughs> I think me and Tanzu will play now. We'll put the next one in the game on there. I think we'll play now. Stop battle, Mr. Game and Watch! 